Governors, senators, MPs, leaders from ANC, Ford Kenya and ODM are meeting in Kakamega to plan on how to mobilize new voters to register as voters in the ongoing IEBC registration process. Also to chant the way forward in terms of politics, our reporter Willie Lusige joins us with an update. Good afternoon, Willie. Good afternoon indeed. It seems that this is the period for politics because we have seen Western region really playing a critical role in terms of the 2022 presidential election. That's what we have seen in recent times a number of political leaders, actually those ones who anticipate to become uh, the president on 2022 by the end of the 2022 presidential election have been camping here for the last few weeks. We have seen the deputy president, we have seen the ODM party leader, we have seen even NC party leader Msali Amdavadi trying as much as possible to win the hearts of the voters of Western region. And that's why today all the leaders cutting across all those political parties that are dominant here in Western, that being ANC, Ford, Kenya, ODM, and even other independent candidates have converged here at the Golf Hotel in Kakamega to vote the way forward in terms of the community as per the, uh, the registration of voters because we know that IEBC has a process which is currently underway of registering new voters which began uh, on the beginning of this month and which is expected to end actually at the end of this month but we have seen leaders from this region trying to find out a way on how to convince this second most populous community in the country to be able to register the highest number of voters so as to have more power more strength when it comes to negotiating for the future in terms of the politics especially for the 2022 presidential election those already present here because this meeting has been converged by the court secretary general francis atuoli i've seen in attendance all the government governors from this region, that is the governor from Kakamega, weekly from Betse Oparanya, who is also the host. I've seen governors from Vihiga, Busia, Bungoma, all of them from this region are present currently, which the meeting is still undergoing. I've seen a number of members of the parliament. I've also seen a number of senators. In total, I can say most, prob most probably the number of those attending that private indoor meeting is around 100 because actually journalists have been barred from attending the meeting, but they have said after the conclusion of the meeting, then they'll be able to give us more details on what they are terming as they will have a press briefing after uh, that meeting. But most probably what they're discussing is that to do with the new voters registration and apart from that also I'm sure they will discuss matters to do with the 2022 presidential election and how to be able to convince all the leaders from this region to come together even though we have different political parties to be able to speak in, uh, in one voice and apart from that also support one presidential candidate who we don't know who it is. Maybe it might be Msali Amdavadi maybe it might be ODM party leader Raila Odinga, maybe it might be the deputy president or any other presidential candidate, but we'll wait until the end of that meeting, then we'll be able to give more details on what was the main agenda, even though they have said they will be discussing the new registration of voters, but also politics will take center stage at this meeting that is being held here at the Gulf in Kakamega. Willy Lusigi there, bringing us up to speed with what is happening in Kakamega County. Now we go to Isiol where Deputy President William Bruto has urged Isiolo residents to make informed decisions come next year.